I'm Brenda KB Anderson, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to work one of my most favorite stitches. It's called the extended single crochet. It's very, pretty similar to a regular single crochet, but it's just a little bit taller, hence the extended part of the name. Um, so one of the reasons that I love this stitch is because it's stretchy and it has this really flat appearance. It makes a very flexible, good drape, um, just a nice flat fabric and it's really great for working uh, a background for cables or using for color work. There's so many different reasons that I love this stitch. But this is what it looks like when you work it in the round and this is what it looks like when you work it back and forth and turn rows. You can see there's a pretty big difference between those two textures. So I'm going to be focusing more on working it in the round because that's how I normally use it but you can certainly use it back and forth and turn rows and working it, you know, it's just the same except for you turn your work at the end of each row. So to begin, we're just going to make a chain and then we will join in the round. And it doesn't matter how many stitches you use. There's no particular kind of um, you know, pattern or anything like that. It's just one stitch per one stitch. So you don't have to worry. You can chain any amount you like. And then there's our chain. We're going to just do a slip stitch in the very first chain that we did so that we can start working it in the round. And I'm just going to be slip stitching through that back loop right there. But you can go underneath the two, two loops on top or work into the, the bottom, however you like to do it. OK, so we did a slip stitch to begin. Now we're going to chain one just to get started. And then here in that first stitch, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to do that again. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to work that all the way around and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we've worked all the way around our, in our chain, one stitch into each chain stitch around. And then you can choose to either do a slip stitch join here, which would look like this. Slip stitch into that first extended single crochet, and then you can chain one. And I would, normally I don't count that as a stitch, so then I work my next extended single crochet into that same stitch where I did my join like this. And then I continue around. Okay, and go all the way around and then you can slip stitch into that first stitch and repeat if you'd like to join every round. I normally, when I'm working in extended single crochet, since it's not a super tall stitch, I like to just work it um, in unjoined rounds, which means you just keep continuing to work in a spiral. So instead of making a slip stitch join here in that very first extended single crochet that I had made, I just insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and just begin making my extended single crochets without that slip stitch join. So as you're working around, you just, you know, you're placing your hook in the usual place underneath both those loops, just like normal, and just completing what we had done on the previous round. So I'm going to work all the way around and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay, we've worked almost all the way around. There's one more stitch left. So we'll work right in there. And you can see it's a little easier just to keep going around and around because we don't have that initial jog from when we had started our extended single crochet down here. So, you know, you can just keep going for as long as you need to to make the piece that you're working on. So as you look at this, in order to count your rounds, if, um, if le actually let's count them on this piece. In order to count your rounds, you, you would, if you take a look at the extended single crochet, you've got a V here and then a V stacked right on top of it. That is one stitch, okay, one extended single crochet. So every time you count around, you're going to count them in those sets of two, two Vs. So like, I like to think of it as a double V, V stacked on top of another V. So this would be the first round, second round, third round, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth and ninth. So we have nine rounds here. 
So like I had said before, you can, of course, work extended single crochet back and forth and turn rows. And I will just quickly show you a little bit of that. It's the same type of stitch. You're just going to do a turning chain at the end, or if you like to think of it as the beginning, you know, either way. But you have to do a turning chain each time you turn your work. Okay, so you can chain any amount of stitches. And I usually skip that first chain and count that as a turning chain. And I'm going to be working into the bottom of my chain here. But you can work anywhere into the chain that you're used to. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's the first extended single crochet of the row. And if you're newer to working back and forth and turn rows, you may want to use a stitch marker just to help you keep track of the first stitch and the last stitch of each row um, until you get used to what the stitch pattern looks like. So let's do a few more. So this is exactly the same as when we had worked it in the round. Just one stitch per chain here. And we've reached the very last chain, so we're going to chain one and turn, like we're turning a page in a book, like that. And then we would continue across. And you can decide if you want that one chain to count as a stitch. I usually don't count that as a stitch uh, because it's a lot more narrow than these extended single crochets. They tend to be a little bit wide. So I would just insert my hook here if I was not counting that as a, as a stitch. If I was counting that as a stitch, then I would insert my hook here. So along with what I was saying about them being a little bit wider, a little bit wider stitch compared to like a half double crochet, for example, it, it isn't a huge amount, but it, you know, it is noticeable over quite a few stitches added up together. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is you'll want to make your chain just a little bit looser than you normally would, just a, just a touch, because otherwise your chain is going to constrict your stitches a little bit because they're, your stitches are just a little bit more widely spread, just a little bit wider. Okay, so that is how you work it in turned rows. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed learning the new stitch, the extended single crochet.